Sure. You know, uh, we uh, one of the first concerts I, uh, or at least semi tours that we did. It was a small tour. It was only five or six days. But we we went to Europe. We played in Ireland and played in England. And I was just. We had Garth Hudson and Sneaky in the band, and it was just amazing to see how many kids, like 18, 19 year old, right before the show, they were up there just touching Sneaky's steel and Garth's piano rig. They were just <laughs> wanted to yeah. to get that close to these guys, and I mean, they really yeah. made an impact in the, in the yeah. music. I mean, Sneaky Pete's legacy is as long as your arm. I mean, I remember on that bus trip. Because for me, the first gig I played with these guys was the last gig that Sneaky did with it. So it was kind of a, a, a really special moment for me to be on stage with Sneaky after being so influenced by Flying Burrito Brothers in my life and my career. Because after hearing Flying Burrito Brothers, that's when I turned and said, oh, I can do country rock. And so I was moving into that direction and I, and I wrote the song. Well, actually, I'd been sitting around. I was in Washington, D.C. and. Uh, this guy named Ray Benson, who's the lead guitar player for uh, Sleep at the Wheel. Oh, He's a, you know, six foot nine, six foot and his nine hands are as voice. long as the guitar neck. He looks like a twig <laughs> in his hand. And he was showing me some country licks on the guitar as I was trying to become country Walt. And when he country left Walt? after... Yeah. Country Walt? I love that. <laughs> this I have to hear. You have to play me something. <laughs> oh, it was just... Okay. Why not? That was the lick he showed me, but... Anyway, to finish that off is when he left, I started to write the song that uh, became my first really big cut, which is called Hearts on Fire that, uh, oh. that uh, Graham and Emmy did, because Emmy was playing in the same circuit in Washington, D.C. as I was, and she was a good friend of ours. Are we on soon or what? Should, should, we, should we? Yeah, yeah we'll I want to hear I mean, some. We, 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 we do have one song uh, that uh, we probably need to rehearse. It's the, uh, the Richard Bell song. Right, right. Uh, uh, out of the wilderness, it's like yeah, got that high note. <clears throat> yeah, I might have to uh, whisper here we go. that high note here. Yeah. Is, is my hair okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay.
love it. Cool. I have my own private concert. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hey, it's going to be a shame that Sneaky's not on stage with you tonight. It is. It's a, it's a real shame. You know, this Disciples of the Truth actually uh, you know, might be the last record he worked on. He's, uh, oh, thank you. He seems to uh, be coming to the end of the line. You know, it's tough to talk about. I can imagine so. I, I guess being the veterans you are and being and in the business as long as you have, I, I, you've seen a lot of great musicians come and go, and so much has changed. And have you changed? I mean, what was it like when you were 20 and you were touring and performing? Do you still have that passion now? Oh. I definitely do. I look forward to every night we uh, get a chance to get together and play music. I mean, that's that's uh, what I do. I, 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 I'm not an accountant, and I <laughs> I, I, uh, can count on I don't I don't preach or anything like that. No. I, I love to play my music. Find way to make songs. a living. No, yeah. it's a great way. Uh, well, that's it. I think as you get older, you appreciate it even more. You know, because when you're young, you're doing that, and it's like, oh, well, this is gonna last forever. And as you get older and you see friends, you know, drop off along the way, it becomes really harder. And then you cherish the moments that you have on stage and the chance that yeah. you get to uh, to relive that. Because right. the energy's still there. And I think Sneaky would want us to keep playing. I know that's that that's what he's all was all about. And oh, he's yeah. he gave us so many influences. Uh, Mike Daly, who's career. taking his place tonight on stage, is exactly. a superb player. So and on the and, and by the way, on the album, just so you know, I mean, we used. A lot of great steel players: Cindy Cash, Dollar, Al Perkins, Dan Dugmore. So uh, you know the album is full of great steel, isn't it, Walt? It is. <laughs> it's great. So the, the steel goes steel. on. <laughs> the album is a steel, right? Yes, indeed.